Tis the season to reflect on everything that has happened in the past 12 months. And while for some of these last 12 haven't always added up to much, I'm encouraged knowing that there were some things that I could always count on, like the look on my children's face whenever there was freshly baked bread. We made a lot of bread this year. How about rushing to get to work on time even though work was right there in the living room? And I could always count on random Amazon package parties because, well, I randomly ordered Amazon packages. True. Things this year have been different. But I bet if you could take a minute and hold a minute and compare it to eternity, your hands will realize how precious and powerful it is to redeem the times. These are the times where they say love will wax cold. I'm convinced that the only way to warm it up is to set that sucker on fire. Anybody want to go higher? Use 2020 as a stepping stool to stare directly at the Father, to speak to mountains and conquer everything that should be conquered. Anybody want to lean into the Father? To turn down plates and lift up hands, to bend a knee in order to stand up straight again, to birth visions that make people want to see again. Anybody want to erase their own resolutions to find out what God has planned? to forsake all others and question traditions and cultural expectations, to offer up pride as a sacrifice and excuses as burnt offerings. Anybody want to be a sweet smelling savor? To jump down off fences and put on armor and fight from victory and claim prizes for battles that have already been won. And yes, grandma said that Jesus is soon to return, but let us not be lazy. Until then, let's occupy until he comes because if you could take a minute and hold a minute and compare it to eternity, you will see that every waking minute is an opportunity to not waste a minute. And so for those that are still asleep, this is your cue. In five, four, three, two.